Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. In this video, I finally get to show you the new security incident response workspace. This has been a long time coming. We've had workspaces out since San Diego, the new ones anyways. And now I finally get to show you SIR or security incident response. Here it is up behind me. I'm going to walk through all the basics of it. We'll start with the overview page. Um, these are interactive graphics that you can click on and view different things about priority, state, category. If I click this button here, I go see SLAs. And you can sort this by your work, my team's work, so stuff that's assigned to other people, unassigned work, no one's picked up the ticket yet. We can look at security incidents, we can look at response tasks off from this page. And just below the graphics that I'm showing there, it's updating the list view down here as well. So you can see I've got a list of phishing incidents. I can switch this to a card view so I have a nice card layout and can move page by page through all those card views of that. And I can pop this out to open in a new tab within the workspace so I can start drilling down or going through things I need to and get away from that dashboard or that overview page that's on the home page. So there's me jumping to a list view really quick. And then we can take one of these and open it up. Before I do, let me show you this new thing at the upper right here, just above my head. We've got stuff that's upcoming tomorrow, so or today, I'm sorry, security incident with an SLA at risk, security incident with a breached SLA. If I click on tomorrow, we'll see things that are happening tomorrow. Nothing's coming up for tomorrow. This is a demo environment, so not surprised to see that. But just behind my head, we've also got some quick links that are editable. So of course, we got a link to ServiceNow Docs, but also to virus total and block requests. And if we want to edit this, we can just click on here. I can change the order of these. I can edit the name of it on the link and the URL and change it however I want. So this is a um, this is a one thing that seems to be configurable or customizable by the agent, a little bit different than the old workspace. Um, and I'll show you, um, well, actually, that you can't do it. You can't configure or change the layout here other than what I just showed you with changing this from a card view to a list view or popping it out to a list in a separate tab. So the old workspace, you were able to drag and drop things around. I don't see it here yet in this particular workspace. But that's okay. Lots of good stuff in here. Let's actually open up one of these phishing incidents and see what looking at a security incident on the new workspace looks like in this new security incident response workspace. So this is going to pull up and it's going to start with an overview page um, and we usually see that in a lot of these workspaces now. What I thought was interesting about this in addition to the summary there at the top is this section right here. So I'm looking at a phishing email and the workspace seems to be aware that this is a phishing email and so I can scroll through and look at the entire email uh, without actually going and doing anything down below. So um, there's the uh, at the top, I've got the, the description of it, the category, priority, the risk score assigned to, the state of that. I can save it, create a response task, or add a playbook, create an incident, create a change request, create a problem, create an outage, create a uh, calculate severity, link to a major security incident, propose as a major security incident, promote to a major security incident, if I have the permission to do those things, associate with a MITRE attack technique, show a MITRE attack info for this, add to a security case, switch to the classic UI, who's doing that? cancel or delete. So this is probably the most in-depth uh, other actions menu I've seen in a workspace. But let's hop over to details in the security incident. And this again, isn't configurable. Now we can jump down to the different areas we wanna look at and we can personalize and turn off fields that we don't wanna see. So there's that there, but that's in all the workspaces. Um, but let's see, short description, long description, the security incident number, when it was open, the state of it, substate if we wanna specify one, the category, this one's phishing, subcategory, it's a phish email, the affected items, the CI, affected user, the location, the priority, or Urgency, business impact, impact. We can override the risk score if we want to. What source it came through. This was a user reported fish and it's demo data. Um, so there is no source. Uh, if it had a parent incident or a parent security incident, who it's assigned to, the access controls, read, watch list, work notes list, privilege access if we want to lock this down, and notes. And just behind my head, of course, notes. You can see the notes, the activity log there on the right. I can switch through and see any run books that are associated with this one. This has a category of phishing playbook run book. So I can scroll through and see all that information there. That's the only one that's associated. I still have access to my templates and still have access to attachments, which you would expect in this particular workspace. Now, on the list view in this workspace, we have 
have access to security incidents, response tasks, user reported phishing emails, assessments, firewall entries, all that looks cool. I'll call your attention to something I haven't seen in a workspace so far is these quick filters up at the top. Now I haven't seen every workspace, but I was excited to see this. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to all security incidents. So when I click these filters, we're actually gonna see this change and it's really snappy, it's really quick. I can quickly see open incidents with a critical priority or a risk score greater than or equal to 80 or open phishing incidents, um, all for that stuff right there. And of course, it looked like in the other workspace, I can set my own list. Next and last is gonna be the SIR dashboards. It seems to default to the Security Incident Explorer, which is actually in the middle of the list of dashboards. I'll show you here in a second. But let's take a look at this. Security Incidents, it's Security Incident Closures by priority and by category. And then I can apply filters by category, by location, by priority, by business impact, and by date range all in this particular space and even see the dashboard details about who created this how much it's used who has access to it description and uh, what visibility there is um, using that particular button right there now this isn't the only dashboard I've got context sensitive analytics where I can see average close time of security incidents open security incidents um, average age of open security incidents. Now, I've not everything's working in my environment, but that's okay. You're getting the idea here of all this stuff. Here's a security analyst overview. Let's get rid of the error there. Critical, prior, my, critical priority work, high priority work, SLAs expired within 24 hours, assigned to me by state and category, response tasks, security incidents, and tasks assigned to me, right? Really an analyst perspective. Um, we already saw Incident Explorer, security incident management. We get some nice graphics. I'll go over to the close tab that didn't have any errors on the widgets. We can see number of closed security incidents trending over time, trending up. It's closed incidents trending up. That's good. Average resolution time, less than a day, 0 0.19. Thank you, demo data. Number of closed security incidents by priority. Average resolution time by priority. Let's take a look at what else we've got here. The premium KPIs, percent of new critical security incidents, average age of open security incidents, average close time of security incidents, etc, etc. Last one on our list, security operations efficiency. We can see open security incidents per analyst. It's closed security incidents per analyst, mean security incident age, time to incident resolution, and the security incident backlog analysis, closed security incident analysis. That keeps going, everybody. Security incident age, security incident resolution time. And here's my message for this new workspace. It is way more than the old security incident response workspace. And when you're in an incident, you got all kinds of things that you can do using that action menu to change things and go do things. And I just realized that I moved away from the details section of this incident, but I didn't show you the rest of the fields. And I'm beat falling at the second. I hope this calms down here um, in a minute. I might have to cut this out. There it goes. I didn't have to cut it out, but I'll go to the investigation tab of a security incident. You're going to see I've got associated observables like we saw on the old system, and I can link multiple new upload secure attachments. I've got configuration items that might be associated with it, affected users that might be associated. And notice in this section right here, the different menus are changing depending on what I'm clicking on. Associated fish emails, uh, email search that might have been done, any response tasks within this tab, related records within this tab, and this is extensive, business impact, threat intel, phishing, related security incidents, SLA records, source events alert, citing search, email search and delete. I mean, it's just, this is everything that was in the old workspace, but just a lot easier to get to and navigate to. Obviously, a lot of it's not populated for me, but here's some threat lookup results, I think coming from Virus Total, uh, a demo generator. I thought I saw Recorded Future in there earlier, but again, it's demo data. And then other records in service now, change requests, incidents, problems, outages, any emails that have been sent uh, related to this incident, draft have received, or sent emails. Sometimes these are tabs along the middle there or they're on the left hand side with other records but quite extensive quite a lot there to do. I even got my tagging fe features here for CrowdStrike, Enrichment, Major Security Incident, Meta Tags, all different, you get a different tag experience um, in setting a tag. So that is the new Security Incident Response Workspace available in Tokyo. I'm under the impression that this is, no, I'm sorry, available in Utah, but it is applicable in Tokyo if you have your applications in the ServiceNow store up to the right level and updated. You should be able to get some of this experience in uh, the Tokyo released. Uh, your mileage may vary. I'm not going to try it over in Tokyo because I've moved on to Utah. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in security incident response in ServiceNow and new features like this new workspace. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.